Hi everybody, this is Matt, and directly in front of me is a Wazer 10 AK-47. Now this video is about how to inspect a Wazer before you actually purchase it. Many of you are new to the AK world and the world of modern sporting rifles. You've heard a lot about AKs, you think that you might want one, but yet you don't want to pay $1,200 for a top-of-the-line model or even $2,000. So the Wazers are a very good way to have an entry-level experience. I have seen the Wazer 10 as low as $479 at one of my local gun shops. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the overall general condition of this AK. And we're going to look for anything obvious, any obvious blemishes, scratches, anything that doesn't quite look right. So an initial visual inspection of the Wazer is what I would recommend that you do before purchase. Remember, we're in a buyer's market, so there's a lot of people out there that have an excess inventory right now, and you're in the driver's seat, not the local gun shop. The second thing to inspect is how straight that barrel is in relationship to the rest of the firearm. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because in the past, sometimes the AKs were hastily put together by certain manufacturers, which I won't name, and you would see the barrel, let me hold it here, you'd see the barrel actually kick off to one side or the other, which obviously is not a good thing. So what you need to do is just simply visually inspect this and make sure that you do not see anything obvious where that barrel is going off to one side or the other. You look at it like this and then you can also flip it upside down and do the same thing. Just eyeball that alignment, make sure that it looks the way that it should be. And in this example, we're okay. The next must inspect in my book on an AK is the rivets. Now, on one of these Wazer models, we have a stamped steel receiver. And what I want to look for is I want to look at these individual rivets, like this one, this one, look here, here, these rivets up here as well and what I'm looking for is how well they're seated and I want to make absolutely certain that I don't see dimpling in the receiver. If there was a dimple here I would not purchase this particular firearm. What I want is I want to see as great a consistency as possible in the riveting making certain that there is nothing that is smashed in, that's you know, dimpled like I said, or functionally loose. To try to give you the best example of what I'm talking about when it comes to rivets, let's uh, look at these three rivets and see how they differ. Notice this rivet right here and how it's got a dome shape on it. Now I can play with this with a screwdriver and it's not going anywhere. Notice here on the far side where my pointer is, I've still got a dome shape, although this rivet has been pressed in more than that one. The rivet in the center, however, is nearly flat. Now there is no obvious dimpling here whatsoever but this just shows you differences in quality control and if this rivet in particular were loose I would not buy it. If there was a dimple here I would not buy it. I would just simply ask the local gun shop to present me another Wazer to look at and I pick the best of both worlds. If you ever want to mount an optic to an AK the alignment of this piece right here is critical and on some of the worst examples that I have seen this has been canted 
off one way or the other dramatically, which obviously is going to have a big impact on your site picture. A quick and easy way to measure it is just to take a simple metal rule like this and push it up against here and you want to see where the metal rule comes up right against that frame and in this example right here that's right at five if I come back to this end I'm at five here as well so this is square and that's exactly what we want to see. Another thing that we want to inspect with NAK, specifically one of these wazers, is the milling that has been done right here to accept a 30 round magazine. You want to look and see how smooth it is, if there are any strange markings, any divots, scratches, and also check uh, fit and finish. So we can either use a metal rule like this and verify how these things match up side to side or you could use some digital calipers. The final inspection that I will do for an AK is check the magazine fit. Specifically, I am looking for any kind of slop right in here, any excess back and forward motion or side to side and if I hold this down get my hand here and brace this okay I've got my hand at the bottom of the magazine and I'm trying to move it back and forth and I'm getting almost no motion out of this guy whatsoever you're not seeing any motion there at all it's very snug and that's what we want we don't want a lot of slop a lot of rocking around if you have walk a lot of uh, rocking around you can have a magazine drop out or you can have a failure to feed or some other type of malfunction so this particular wasser is nice and tight and these are just a few of the things that you can do to make sure that you make the right purchase for you when you're getting into this market so Anyway, until next time, everybody, thanks for watching, have a great day, and be safe out there.